start. There it goes. Hey, welcome everybody once again to Astronomy Daily Live. This is for January 31st, 2019. It's, uh, wow, this is, this is the last day of uh, January. Hmm. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. So yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. I hear there's a a uh, deep freeze in the uh, sort of the eastern part of the United States. So hope everybody is uh, staying warm over there, um, keeping indoors. Uh, you know, uh, if you don't have anything to do, you can go play one of my puzzles <laughs> um, that I now have up on a site. I'll I'll uh, show those off a little bit bit too. I um, I think that's going to be a little bit of fun. Um, uh, and, and yeah, yeah, I'll talk about that a little bit. So yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Now, did I pop out this chat? Mm. Oh, I know what I did. I did that and I did not pop out my chat. I'm, I'm running a little bit late because I was watching the, uh, weekly space hangout and they were talking about the occultation, um, uh, detection. And and uh, so so yeah, I was I was uh, watching that and not paying any attention to uh, what time it was, and I, I just so happened I just so happened to uh, um, to uh, um, look at the clock, and it's like, oh, oops, all right. So yeah, I had to uh, hurry a little bit. So so uh, so yeah, cool. Well, I hope everybody's doing doing well. Uh, so I want to say hi to ERRT Radio. Atta is also in the in the chat. Um, there's Uncle Bill. Um, so so yeah, you know. Uh, oh, well, you, before I get into the puzzles a little bit, um, I want to say hi to Bobby in the panel. Hey, hey, da 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 da. What's What's going on over there? Uh, not that much. Uh, we was also was not in a super, super deep freeze, but uh, it is still cold as flip. Huh. Yeah. You know what? It's uh, it's uh, pretty pleasantly warm here. So so uh, so yeah. We uh, I've sort of ducked ducked that whole. Whole, whole thing. Now we have clouds um, and maybe a little bit of rain, you know, but it's just it's sort of a normal winter storm. You know, we have these these winter storms, win winter storms <laughs> that um, um, come through and, and uh, you know, it rains a little bit. Sometimes there's a little bit of SNOW, but, but uh, this one is just some clouds. And uh, actually the temperatures are you know, for this time of year, extremely um, pleasant. On the Fahrenheit scale, I think they're be in the 60s or so. So, so you know, no problem at all. Well, hello there. Are you going to come and settle on my lap? I think so. All right. Cool. All right. Well, yeah. All right. Well, cool. I hope everybody's doing extremely well out there. So, so. So, uh, so yeah, and um, ERRT, I will definitely try to come by um, and listen to some more um, music and stuff. I know you were having some uh, computer problems this morning, um, like a fan or something was was uh, you know trying to sing a little bit there, and and uh, that is never a good thing, especially I think it was the CPU fan. So that that. That is never a good thing, um, yeah. but it sort of sounds like uh, uh, Ron has fixed that. Hey there, Tom. Nice to see you in the chat too. Cool, very very cool. So uh, yeah, here I'll uh, I'll pop up my my weather too here. Uh, see see what it is now. You know, like I always say every single time, I don't know how accurate these things are. I don't know exactly where um, 
where um, Nightbot is um, getting its information, but 54 Fahrenheit. <laughs> that sounds about good. Oh, that was a pretty good one. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty good one. I give it a, a six <laughs> or so. Yeah, I mean, I've done better. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. So, yeah, I, uh, um, you know, again, again, um, you know, giving sort of full credit to Tim Robinson, you know, for sort of um, um, planting um, the seed of an idea in my head in terms of um, taking some of these um, pictures, you know, that we look at, um, which are, you know, completely public, um, no copyright on them, no, you know, you mm -hmm. can do anything you want with them at all. Right, anything mm -hmm. at all. You know, if you want to sell them, if you want you know, to resell them, if you want to, you know, anything. Right. So you know, the idea was, it's like, well, yeah, you know, let's make puzzles out of these things. And so I looked into that a little bit, and I actually contacted a um, um, puzzle maker um, who um, I think you know gave me a pretty reasonable quote, um, but it was still so so high right you know i would have to charge mm -hmm. so much um just to break even which you know as far as i'm concerned i don't care um uh, but you know i would have to charge so much um um retail you know just to break even and then and then you you know the buyer mm -hmm. would of course also have to uh um pay you know shipping Right, which is expensive, right? You know, ten or fifteen bucks, you know, just to ship this stupid thing. So, you know, it's like, oh no, 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 this is not right. So, you know, uh sort of uh you know uh in that in that um um despair, you know, at 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 that low point, right? It's like it's like, you know pretty excited about it and then it's like oh 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 no this isn't gonna work this isn't gonna work oh this is definitely mm -hmm. not gonna work right right at that low point something you know popped into my head and it's like you know i'll bet you somebody is doing this online i'll bet you you know there there are you know um um these online um puzzle places and lo and behold i did a google search right and and um i don't know how many actually popped up i just went to the first one whatever it was um signed up um and and uh and so yeah you know uh you know what's you know i don't know if there's that much of a difference between um you know, doing a puzzle on on your screen and doing a puzzle on a table. I can say in my situation, right, with 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 things like this around, right, with things like this around, doing a puzzle ain't happening, right? Ain't happening at at all. So actually, um, um, doing a puzzle uh, on the screen here, um, uh, I, I actually, uh, you know, would probably um, um, seriously consider that. So I've been posting a few over there. I've I've been making some. You know, just going over to the high rise mm -hmm. site, um, grabbing you know, um, grabbing an image, um, cropping it, you know, to some appropriate size. Um, putting it into GIMP, making a border, putting a title on it, um, putting the credit down on the bottom. Um, you know, the high rise group um, says, you know, do what you want with these things, but make sure you know you put some kind of a credit on there. Now, you know, most people are going to um, take these images, and actually, there are several of these pictures on this um, puzzle site, right? And there's no credit whatsoever, right? None. I don't think that's right, right? I, I mean, it, it, it takes a, a monumental amount of, of work to, you know, develop 
all the software, all all the processing, um, all 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 the time and and the hours and hours and hours and hours to you know get this whole pipeline working such that you know the data it comes down from you know, the spacecraft it goes into the deep space network um uh gets you know sent to jpl gets sent to um, um like in this case on the university of arizona um and then you know processed right and all these data products come out and one of the data products are these are these absolutely beautiful pictures right of of a place right an actual place mars right mars mars is no longer this this little point you know red red um dot um way up in the sky right it's an actual place right and it's amazing <laughs> It's absolutely amazing, right? I mean, it's it's uh, um, uh, it's 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 as amazing as as Earth, as Jupiter, as the Moon, as everywhere else you know, that we look. It's just it's just mind mind blowing, right? So I think it's really really important that when you know these folks make a simple request to just give them credit, right? Just say. This is where you know, the image is from, right? That's all they want, right? And in fact, on their site, you know, they tell you exactly what to say, right? And it's super simple, right? So, um, um, so I put a title um, way up at the top. I put you know, the credits, um, and I make a little bit of a border, right? That is sort of colorful, you know, because at least right now. Um, um, you know, with the pictures that I'm um, making, they're um, black and white, right? You know, they're just grayscale. So, you know, um, I'm putting a little um, color in um, with the border um, makes sense. And, you know, I do, you know, some fancy things, you know, with that. Um, and and uh, I've, I've already been told, right? I've already um, 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 been told that that these puzzles are actual puzzles, right? They're just not um, pictures that, you know, have been chopped up into pieces, right? You actually have to really, really work at these things and they're hard, right? They're really, really hard. And that's what a puzzle, as far as I'm concerned, right, should be, is, is, is hard. I mean, if it's just a matter of, you know, taking a piece, putting it down, taking a piece, putting it down. I mean, you know, I suppose that's okay. That's all right. But I used but, to do puzzles with my mom and stuff. And about, cool. about my sneeze and stuff, don't get one that has that comes with a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. You know, um, Bobby, I, and, and, you know, I don't, I guess, you know, um, what I'm about to say probably isn't isn't too you know nice or anything, but I I think that that of all the bodily functions, I think that sneezing is is one of the most amazing, fantastic things that we do, right? It's 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 so incredibly satisfying, right? And and. Uh, and so, you know, I, you know, I mean, there really aren't a lot of things, you know, that I really, really, really enjoy, but, you know, the occasional good, good set of sneezes, absolutely fantastic. I love it. And, and I, I actually rate every single one of them, right? Oh, okay. You know, that was a seven, you know, or that was a 10, right? Um, uh, and, and, uh, you know, um, the people who, um, um, try to suppress sneezes, I, I think their head's going to explode, right? Um, no, you need to let that out. You need to let that out. As far as I'm concerned, that, um, um, sneezing is, 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 is not rude in, in, in any way. And people make the most amazing sounds when they sneeze, 
right? The most amazing sounds come out that you can't get any other way, right? So as a musician and, and as somebody, you know, who really, really appreciates sounds, right? Sneezes are, are amazingly uh, complex mm -hmm. and, you know, um, dynamic and and um, really um, um, unique. So you know when I'm listening, you know, to like a lecture, and or or like a symphony, and somebody sneezes in the crowd, it's like, yes, that was a good one. That was a seven. <laughs> so so anyway, that's just an aside. Um, anyway, I'm I'm. Uh, um, I think I'm definitely going to be um, doing more of these um, 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 puzzles, and I, I, I want them to be actual puzzles, right? I want uh, you to be challenged, and a lot of those um, pictures from Mars are are extremely challenging, and they're also extremely beautiful, right? So, so, so uh, you know, you get that challenge and you also get you know, the satisfaction of, of of getting it done and this particular site um actually times you right um and you can stop um come back later um you can restart um you can uh there's a little um button there it's like a picture of a ghost and it'll actually show you um sort of a ghost um image of the completed um, puzzle. Now, do they have you know, like a like an Android app that you can get on your phone or tablet? I don't know. I don't know. I I don't I I don't think so. I don't think so. But here, I'll um uh since since we're still on that, let me just uh, I'm going to um I'm gonna post. The link to to my my site. It's called Jigsaw Planet, and and uh, but I greatly encourage you. You know, um, 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 if you like these kinds of things, to um, go over and um, check them out. They're they're an active site, very very active site. Um, so there's there's my my. Um, 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 particular page, you can change the number of um, pieces that that the puzzle has. Um, I've set it, um, and I'm probably going to continue you know, to set these um, um, to the max, which is 300, right? Um, um, 300 is the max, but I think um, you can go all the way down to four, right? Um, so so uh, so so cool, but but yeah, I I don't know if they have an app or not i'm sort of looking on their site now and i'm i'm not i'm not seeing anything obvious so but um you know maybe do a search for um jigsaw planet um, um maybe they do i don't know um uh but yeah yeah you know that's just a fun a fun thing and um I'm I'm gonna try you know to post at least a few um, new pictures every week, um, and build up a nice a nice collection here, um, and not just Mars, right? Um, I uh, there there is so much um, um, publicly available you know non copyright um, stuff out there that that uh, yeah there 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 is years and years and years worth. Uh, of stuff, and you know, I'll try to find you know, some interesting ones. But I also um, definitely want to have these be puzzles, right? I want them to be challenging, right? I don't want just you know, like a picture of a kitten, right? Which is cute and fun and all of that, right? But it's not a puzzle, right? It's just a picture, you know, that has a bunch of pieces in it, right? These things that I think I'm doing are hopefully sort of a step above that. Um, in that, in that, you know, they're hard. They're hard. What do you um, think the level of difficulty might be in your puzzles? I don't know. 
I don't know. I uh, I think what you should do is try them, um, and then let me know, right? Um, and uh, you know, I think changing, um, 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 being able to change you know, the the number of pieces, I think that that will probably help a lot, right? So you know, you don't have to have three hundred. Um, you can change it, you know, to one hundred and fifty or two hundred or 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 like I said, four, right? Um, and and uh, I think a four piece puzzle is probably pretty easy, um, you know, but a 300. And then um, um, you can even change the, the shapes of the pieces too. They have like five or six different shapes. Um, so, so, uh, so yeah, it's, it's a pretty interesting site. It's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty advanced, I would say. Um, I haven't really um, compared this to um, similar ones. I haven't even looked um, looked around yet, but I probably should. You know, I should probably post these on several sites. Anyway, so that's a lot of fun. Hope everybody's doing doing well. I've got the H O H here in the mug, nice and full. So cheers. Nice and full faucet water here. Cheers. Ah, right, right out of the tap. Excellent. Excellent. Just squeeze some rocks and out it comes. Wow. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right. I'm going to look at the, look at the chat, make sure that we're, doing good over there uh, so cool Otta, Otta, um, she actually uh, prefers the on-screen puzzles for sure oh cool all right well um um uh, uh, um so um, Otta, i uh um definitely would greatly appreciate any kind of um feedback on 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 the ones you know, that I'm doing there, um, because yeah, you know, I think I I think that a puzzle should be hard, right? I think it should be a little bit hard. It's sort of like um, you know, looking at these um, um, journal papers, right? They they should sort of sort of fly over your head a little bit. Right? Now I'm kind of like assuming that your puzzles could be could be like really pushing the boundaries of an average puzzle for. Well, yeah, like I said, you know, give them a try. Um, see what happens. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I, uh, I think a puzzle should be puzzling, right? I mean, that's sort of, uh, that's, um, you know, um, uh, that's what the name, name means, right? It's a puzzle. <laughs> so, so, uh, so yeah, you know, I think it should be a little bit of a challenge. Um, and uh, yeah, I I would definitely like um, um, feedback and you know any kind of suggestions as to what kind of pictures um, um, you'd like to have. Um, you know, there's tons, tons and tons and tons of them. Um, and you know, uh, I've got access to you know, the entire um, um, planetary data system, right? Which has um, pictures and data uh, from, you know, what you know, the fifties and sixties, all the way until till now. So, so you know, uh, I'll be darned if like NASA will give you credit for the ultimate do doing captures and stuff on the new horizons and stuff when they become available, so so you can make them as jigsaw puzzles. Yeah, well, you know, I could actually um, take what they've got now um, and um, um, do that exact thing. That's actually a good idea. But yeah, you know, as as those pictures um, um, come down, which uh, which yeah, you know, they were saying uh, when the encounter occurred a month ago that first part of of um, uh, um, February. They should be getting you know some more data in. So I actually went over to their site. Was it today or yesterday? 
don't remember exactly. Um, and looked to see, you know, if they had any new, new um, pictures there. And it doesn't look like they, they did yet. But yeah, I'm sort of expecting those any, any day. In fact, you know, I wouldn't be too surprised that if in the next couple of weeks, you know, they might have a, a new um, um, press conference, um, sort of showing all those off and everything. Um, and um, uh, yeah, yeah, well, cool. All right. Um, so speaking of lots and lots and lots of data, um, um, one of the other um, pieces of news um, that I heard on the uh, weekly space hangout was that the the PanStars folks have actually done a um, data release. And so PanStars is another one of these um, survey telescopes. And they, they uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to look into it a little bit. I'm going from um, memory from what um, Frazier said, but I think PanStars looked at every, every piece of sky that they could um, 12, 12 times each in five different colors, um, five different wavelengths. So they've got like peta, petabytes of data, just like, you know, an, un, an unbelievable huge, you know, that's that, I think a petabyte is a billion gigabytes, right? I think um, 10 to the 12th, no, 10 to the petabyte is 10 to the 15th. So that's a, uh, let's see, a gigabyte is 10 to the 9th. So nine and six, so that's a, yeah. Um, so that's a million um, gigabytes or a billion megabytes. So that's just tons and tons and tons of data. Um, there, 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 there is. And how uh, far does a average uh, drive, our average hard drive would go? Like, well, I would say about, about one or two tera. Yeah, I mean, terabytes are um, ten to the twelfth, right? So this is um, one thousand times more than that, right? So that's a peta, I think. I think. Let's. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to Google and find, and find I, out I exactly. I know, like for sure, my uncle still has his two uh, hundred fifty-six megabyte thumb drive, and he might have like maybe five hundred photos, and he still got room for sure for more photos. Yeah, here I've got. Uh, do I have it here? I'm looking on my on my shelf. Now these are. These are, are big. I've got a 256 around here somewhere. 256 megabyte, um, you know, one of these dudes. This is a two. All right. Uh, Bill Thor, yellow. Um, this is a two and a four. And he actually had, like, like information about, about how big and stuff. Like, Giga is ninth. Sarah is 12, Peta is 15th, and Exa is 18th. Okay, good, good, good. Yes. Thank you, Uncle Bill. Thank you, Uncle Bill. Yeah. Peta is 10 to the 15th. Um, where is that? Um, yep. 10 to the 15th. So it's a thousand T, right? Um, anyway, let's let's uh, let's go over to Pan Stars. Oh, so Brian from Art Radio says you think the fan noise was the plastic housing around the fan on the CPU. If that's so, then uh, I think you can live by it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, um, as long as the fan is running and the fan itself is not making that horrible noise, um, then you know the fan is running okay um and yeah yeah uh you know put some tape on it or something and you know see what happens although the heat is is probably going to affect that so yeah ron you might you might still have to replace that that fan even if the fan is um spinning because 
you don't, you, I mean, you know this, uh, you don't want you know, to compromise your CPU in any way. And those fans uh, help enormously, enormously with um, you know, getting that heat out of there. So, so uh, um, I saw a YouTube video one time. Uh, I forgot what it was and stuff. But if you like take the heat sink out of a CPU on an Intel machine, it will just slow it down to a crawl, and it doesn't do anything. But mm. if you take a CPU uh, heat sink out of an AMD, it's going to burn and flip. Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's that probably depends on you know the clocking and you know just how how you know those chips are 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 built, right? You know, it has to do you know with 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 you know the design and how how you know the design you know, disperses that 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 heat, right? Because you know those things. I don't know how. I don't know how many amps those things pull, you know, when they're really working. Um, can't be a huge amount, but maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure about that. Anyway, let's, um, since, since Panstars just came out with its thing, I thought that we would just sort of go over there and take a look at that. Maybe quickly, maybe not. Maybe we can poke around a little bit and and uh, and see what's up. So I'm going to share my screen. So what organization was Panstars? Where where it was? Um, well, I, I think we're going to find out here. I I I don't actually have a answer off the top of my head to that question. Okay, so, so let's, let's, let's go find out. Now these days, they all throttle down when temperature is at the dungeon that reaches a danger point. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Well, you know that makes sense. They uh, they they want they want to live as much as we do. <laughs> I still want to try it while running one way out of heat sink or some kind. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Pan Stars. Uh, I, I forgot what what organization was Pan Stars. I forgot. Well, that's exactly what what we're looking at now. So, um, it is operated by the Institute for Astronomy at the University of Hawaii, Hawaii. So it's a one point eight meter um, telescope. So you know nothing big. You don't have to have anything big, right? I mean, I keep saying this over and over and over again. You don't really need a big scope, you know, to do amazing, amazing work. Now, you know, these guys, you know, aren't doing science, right? These guys are collecting data that then scientists, you know, can, can grab and do something with, right? But um, a nice big camera, right? 1.4 gigapixel camera, five filters, which are designated G, R, I, Z, and Y. So G and R are sort of in the um, visible range, sort of green and red, as, as the little um, name implies there. I and Z and Y are, are leading towards the infrared. Um, I'm not exactly sure what wavelengths those are. Um, we can probably find out. Um, can probably find out. Dun, 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 dun. Once the thing decides to load, we'll sing a song while it goes. Okay, so um, okay, so here, here we go. So this is the central wavelength, as they're calling it, the mean wavelength. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here for you, so you can, you can see. So here, here are the sensitivity curves, right? But let's look at the numbers here. So in angstroms, G is at um, 4866. R is at 62.15, I is at 
7245, Z is at 8679, and Y is at 9633. So uh, our our eyes, they cut out around around 7,000 angstroms or so. So we we really, really can't see I, Z, and Y. But of course, you know, we can build a um, um, detector that that can. So um, let's see, they're not really, they're not really showing I'm kind of How I'm a little bit. How is Astra base compared to Hertz? Um, it, well, a Hertz is a frequency and an angstrom is a wavelength. So it's an inverse thing. Um, you've got to, uh, um, there's a factor of the speed of light in there. Um, so, so, but yeah, it's sort of a reversed thing. Um, we could, uh, we can actually look that up really, really quick. Um, wavelength, I cannot type today versus frequency. Um, so let's, uh, um, uh, let's see. Yeah, this will probably tell us a little bit, maybe. Yeah, it's kind of hard, hard to see here. Let's, um, let's go down here to Wikipedia so we can actually see. Are we going to do this? Yeah. Okay. So, so here's the relationship, right? The wavelength is equal to the velocity of the wave divided by the um, frequency. So, and so if you want to get actually the frequency, right, you would just switch these two, right? So you can also say that F equals V over lambda. And um, like in the case of, of light, right? V is just the velocity of light. So uh, I'm going to grab my handy dandy calculator here. And um, let's see. An angstrom is actually uh, is, is uh, point, point 0.1 nanometers, right? So 486.6 angstroms is 400, sorry. 4,866 angstroms is 486.6 nanometers, right? And a nanometer is just um, one billionth of a meter, right? So 486.6 times 10 to the minus ninth, oops, I did that wrong, 486.6 exponent and thank you for that little explanation too, Uncle Bill. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Okay, so there's there's that in meters, right? So then um, we're going to multiply that by the velocity of light. Um, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to multiply by three times. 10 to the eighth, three times 10 to the eighth. So we're talking about 6.16 times 10 to the 14th Hertz, right? So that's, um, uh, what is that? One E six. So that's, um, one. so that's 616 million megahertz. So that's a, a, a very, very high frequency light is visible light, right? As opposed to radio, you know, which is like a million times um, shorter than that. So, you know, but light is light and it's just a different um, 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 frequency, a different um, wavelength. Anyway, so here's, here's G, right? And it sort of spans the entire um, visible band, right? And then here's, oh, yeah, let's see. I, no, this isn't right. I'm not seeing this right because there's, 
there's this, but then there's those. There's five curves there. So, yeah, I'm not quite understanding. The blue here is definitely Y, right? 9633. And the yellow, the yellow looks like it's I. Huh. This looks like red. Yeah, I'm not. That doesn't make any sense. I'm not quite sure what that's doing there. Huh. Hmm. It's like my like my, my, one of my perp one of my people you say Bashi Kari Pa. Yeah. Anyway, I'm I'm gonna believe these numbers over these these curves. These curves are a little I don't know, these curves look a little confusing to me. Um not making much sense. Cause there's a a blue colored curve here which sort of corresponds to what they're calling, you know, the G filter. There's this red colored curve, which corresponds to R. Maybe, maybe this I, oh, I don't, it's possible, I guess, that, that I is this whole thing. I don't know. I didn't think that I was I was that broad band, right? That's that's a very very wide wide band. And then eighty six seventy nine for Z. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I am not exactly sure. Maybe I'm just being a little bit um, dumb about this, but this these curves don't seem to correspond to these incident photon. Huh. Anyway, so here are the wavelengths at least. So let's let's go back. Um, uh, so it sits on top of Haleakala, which is a uh, a really really cool little little mountain on on Maui. Um, I've actually stood on the top of that mountain. It's pretty cool up there. Um, but yeah. So they just released this um, data uh, yesterday or the day before, right? Um, so let's let's dive in. Um, I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to get rid of that, and let's just go right to the object catalog search, and let's look for something. Why not? Let's see. What should we look for? Um, there's a uh, there was a planetary nebula that um, Mark D'Antonio was looking at the other night. It's called the 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 blue the blue snowball. I think it's called the snowball nebula. I wonder if that can be resolved with this thing. Oh no! How about how about blue snowball? If not, I'll just look up the coordinates. Ah, okay. Let's let's just look up the coordinates here. I don't. I, I'm. It doesn't say what they're using to, you know, resolve these these names. Let's just look for snowball really quick. Oh, position does not resolve. Ah, okay. So let's let's just do it this way. Blue snowball nebula. NGC seven six six two. Okay, so let's let's take a look at that with pan stars. Um, we should be. I think we should be able to do this. Yeah, there we go. So this is resolved. Bam. So let's mm -hmm. let's do a little bit larger than one arc minute. That's a pretty small field let's let's do like 15 something like that so we can search either of the data releases that's kind of, mm, excuse me um that's kind of cool not quite sure what mean object means 
we'll just leave that. There are conditions that we can set. That's okay. kind of cool. Object name. Yeah, you know, just all the different um, pieces of information in the database. Yeah, cool. So, you know, this is a lot like um, most of the other um, data releases, right? This is in a big, huge database, and um, you can search search for various things. Um, select the columns that will that will be displayed. There are sixty seven selected. Uh, okay. Holy moly! Upload it to a CSV file. Choose choose a CSV file. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. Let's see what the options are here. So, yeah, you know, I mean, it looks a lot like um, Gaia, right? You know, you've got your object ID, um, uh, right ascension, um, declination, various um, um, measurement errors. Not quite sure what a few of these are. Oh, okay, ecliptic longitude. That's kind of neat. You sort of move over it, and it um, tells you what it is. That's pretty cool. Um, so here are the magnitudes and their errors, their, their associated errors. So they have you know, the magnitudes for G and R and I and Z and Y, and then all their little errors, errors and stuff. I don't think we need all of that. So let's, let's get rid of those. Do we need any of these? Nah, not really. R and deck are good. Stack detections, number of detections. That might be interesting to see. Okay, so these are the number of detections in each filter. <laughs> That's kind of neat. I don't think we need any of that for this first look. Um, let's just do just the mm -hmm. G magnitude without any of these other doodahs on here. Um, flags, QF perfect. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's do the same for R. Let's keep it simple. I like keeping it simple if I can. I have a simple mind. I need a simple output. Flags. It's a lot to uh, to have to clear each time, though. So I don't really know if I like their choice of um, default. That's kind of a pain to have to go through all these and click on them all. OK. So let's I think that's all I have to do. All right? So let's search catalog. Bam. Loading PenStars data. Where's the Jeopardy music? Yeah, we need some uh, we need some PanStars music here. I should write some. <laughs> Usually, if it takes this long, there's usually a lot, right? There's like too much to handle. Either that or uh, my system is just being incredibly slow. So I'm going to pull up pull up the chat here really quick just to just to make sure that we are getting an adequate number of shenanigans over there. Good, excellent. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just a wavelength. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just a measurement of distance. So yeah, wow, this is uh, this is just taking its sweet old time here. Don't know Maybe exactly. We should, I think we would definitely would be singing some karaoke for sure. <laughs> let's go back and limit the. Uh, let's add a condition. Right. Let's let's make the let's make the uh, the G magnitude uh, less than or equal to 
like 18th magnitude or so. That. At least it remembered which ones I selected when I went back. That's that's kind of nice. Appreciate that. So let's see if that takes a little less time. Dun, 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 yeah, we definitely need some um, Pan Stars music for this of some sort. Yeah, because this is, well, I wonder why this is uh, taking as long as it is. I don't know. Maybe, maybe because, you know, it's a new data release. Um, everybody's, you know, just jumping on it and just, you know, completely um, overwhelming and this um, is you know, the computers. Release, right? Yeah, just a couple days ago. Yeah. So I guess so there's still couple. like uh, processing, indexing, and stuff, huh? Well, no. I mean, you know, a data release should 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 be complete, right? So so all all this data is is there, you know, for the taking. Um, and and now you know it's up to scientists to you know do something with it, right? But yeah, wow, I'd uh, I should unless sort of there's, unless their servers crashed and stuff. Well, that's why I say you know maybe that's what's going on. Let's let's make this search radius a little bit smaller. Okay, let's just make it one, and then we'll go from there. All right, so one one arc minute. Um, oh. Okay, so I just at this point I just want to see a result, right? I don't <laughs> I don't really care what it is. I just want to see a result. There we go. Okay, huh? Okay, so they have some funky data here, right? Not not really. Um, you know, we don't have have these numbers here for you know the um, um, G magnitude. Um, PSF stands for point spread function. It's it, and it's exactly that. It's a function that that takes a point source and spreads it out. It's sort of a blurring function. That's sort of the best way to um, think of that. But uh, okay, well here are the results, and there's a lot of them, right? It goes all the way to um, page 19. It says down here that there are 190 entries. So I don't. I, I, well, let's uh, let's click on one of these. Let's just I don't know. Let's go to sort of a random one here. Still getting a lot of negative 999s here. So, so, uh, so that usually means, like, if you ever try with the GNU plot, it may not be what you do to think. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, you know, in order to deal with this, you would probably have to write, you know, some software, you know, to say, you know, if it sees that number, you just ignore it, right? But eh, let's see. Um, let's just, <coughs> I'm just going to pick one, I guess. Let's just do this one because it has all the numbers there. Oh, except the last one. Okay, so let's do this one, right? So this is a G magnitude. Oh, and here's, let's do this one instead because it's got a lot of um, detections, right? It's got 11 detections. Um, and then here, here are the brightnesses, right? So it's got a G magnitude of 12.56. Now, you know, I noticed this with Gaia too, and I, I'm not quite sure why they would do this, but do you see all these decimal points here? Okay, this is ridiculous. No, no instrument on, on the planet will ever for a thousand years, have have that kind of precision, right? <laughs> there's just there's just no way, right? Um, 
you know, this right here is nine millimagnitudes, right? Actually, that one um, is nine millimagnitudes, right? So pretty much everything after this is what I would consider to be garbage, right? It's just noise. It's just, uh, and I don't know why they're doing that. You know, I mean, didn't we all learn in school to, to, to deal with a thing called significant figures, right? Well, these numbers here are not significant at all, period, right? You cannot they, measure. They pretty much like, like uh, whenever they got done with school, they just burned the books. It's just a computerized thing, right? You know, they did a calculation and, you know, this is the number that um, came out and they're not paying attention to significant figures, which I don't know, you know, maybe that's just a um, um, pet peeve of mine. I don't know. Uh, but but uh, that is a little bit of annoying. Um, but anyway, so let's see. G magnitude of 12.56 and R um, um, magnitude. Wow, it gets really, really faint. It's almost 19th in, in R. An I of 17, so it's getting a little bit brighter. A Z of... Um, 15.28, a little bit brighter, a little bit brighter. That's a little weird. I, I don't, um, I'm kind of wondering what is going on with these I numbers. I really think those nine, those negative nine, nine nines would mean like, like their, like their instrument never picked it up. Couldn't pick it's it just, up. Also. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's, that's my interpretation too, Bobby, is that, is that, you know, they just don't have a measurement there. Anyway, let's click on this object ID, and it says go go to the detections for this object ID. Cool. Let's do that. So there should be eleven of them here, and so they have a filter ID, which looks like it goes from maybe one to five. So it looks like they look at this object a lot with um, filter five. Once with number one, once with number four, and everything else is with filter five. Okay. Um, that's kind of cool. Here's the, um, the um, timestamp of the observation. So this is in um, um, Julian dates. So, yeah, uh, to point, you know, that's... Um, 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 one of the big things when you um, get into astronomy is that you have to have a pretty good understanding of, 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 how, of how time is measured because astronomers, they measure time in all different kinds of ways. And yeah, it can be oftentimes extremely confusing, um, especially to all the astronomers, <laughs> for sure. But yeah, you know, you can see that there are slight um, discrepancies in you know, the measurements of the positions of these objects. Let's uh, see how it's um, 351.476 and um, 47645, say. Here it's 47647. But they give their, their errors, too. So, you know, um, good on them for doing that. Although, I still say that, that that's too many digits. Too many, probably. Well, that's pretty cool. So this is just the data. We're not actually seeing any, any um, images here or anything else. This is just sort of querying a database, which, 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 is, which is great, right? Which is absolutely great. We can... Um, we can probably uh, comma separated download results. Let's see if we can download the results. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go over there. I told it to um, to put it in a comma 
separated list. Let's see if it actually did it. Oh, actually, I need to go over to uh, to my somewhere terminal somewhere. PS one. Ah, oh, there it all is. Cool. Let's um, let's plot a little bit of the, a few of these, huh? Just for fun. Let's see. There's um, like a lot of data. Yeah, lots of data. Lots of data. It looks like they. Um, I would find myself better using a rebrite office for that. Yeah, it's um, it actually looks like this is all the data that it's not filtered. Right, because these are yeah. There's a lot of columns there. Um, I'm looking for the RA and deck. I'm seeing RA stack, RA deck stack. There's an RA mean. So that's probably what they're talking about there. So yeah, for some reason the when you download all the data, it it does every single field, not just your selected fields. Hmm, that's a little that's a little funky. Uh, let's count these really quick. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five. I think are what we want. Uh, so I'm just going to put this in a different uh, place. Let's just call it pan stars. That. So 24 and 25, right? Is that what we decided on? The data file separator to commas and plot pan stars using, what did I say? <laughs> 24 and 25. Points, point type seven, point size one, black. Okay, well, there's a distribution of stars for sure. For sure. Um, looks hey, like. Working. Yeah, yeah. All right, well. I'll definitely be um, playing with this a little bit more. I'd like to see some uh, images, right? Not not just the data. You know, the data is is great, but um, yeah, I'd like to see you know some pictures of this actual object, right? That'd be kind of cool. If you go back, I think there is an option, such an option like that. I'm not sure. Is there? Should we go uh, look? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go look. Oh, let's click on the back button so it'll be quicker. So where do you think that is? Like go back to the like uh, go back like to the main page for pan stars. Not the catalog, but the main page. Uh -huh. Or or the info page, one of the two. Image cutout server, is that what you think it might be? That sounds that sounds like a reasonable place. Pan stars one image access. Hey, that sounds pretty, uh, pretty promising. So, oh, I don't know what to put here. Let's just put NGC seven six six two and see what happens. Got to move my glass of hydrogen hydroxide. Hey, there it is. Yay! Now, see, it's got the fits format, too. Let's have some fits. <laughs> you betcha. So, yeah, this looks like it's in G, R, I, Z, and Y. And then they've sort of, you know, combined Y, Y, I, and G here for us, too. That, that's kind of cute. Um, so there's an interactive image display. Pretty cool. So... Stack, warp, auxiliary data, JPEG display size. Okay, so you can make them really big. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, pretty nifty. No, I, I, uh, I would, I, I guess I would have expected this to sort of look a little bit different at each wavelength. Uh, let's go back to the small ones because then it's a little bit easier to see, to see them all. But pretty cool though, pretty cool. Let's um, so we can display them. We can grab the fits image if we want. Let's just. Hit the display here, see so what, so what comes up. It's some kind of an interactive display. Not, uh, not seeing much. That uh, doesn't look like that doesn't look like sandbag quality good stuff. <laughs> Uh, there's an invert. You can do that. That sometimes helps. Advanced contrast controls. I'm not really seeing. Uh, here, let's zoom out a little bit. Maybe that'll. It's just not exactly in the same same place. I don't know if that's it or not. Kind of hard to tell. Let's um. Uh, move it over. Yeah, we can move it over a little bit. I don't know if that's it or not. Let's let's zoom out a little bit more. Pretty cool, though. We can do this. Well, that's kind of neat. Zooming out all the way here. That doesn't seem to do much. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, I'm not quite sure if that's the... Uh, there's some stuff around it. It's kind of hard to tell. Kind of hard to tell. Let's... Um, goes lighter. And go darker. There we go, darker. Okay, so they, it looks like they have some overlays here too. We can, like, yeah, well, we'll definitely have to play with this a little bit more. See what can be done. It's a nice, nice resource. And, uh, you know, this kind of, um, and I think Fraser, you know, was talking about this, this too, you know, and I mean, I've, I've been saying it for, for a long, long, long time. We, we just sitting here, right, have access to all this data now, just this enormous amount of data. Um, and it's, it's, it's fresh, it's new. Um, no one has really looked at it, right? The data has been collected. But it's it's never it's never been looked at, right? It's never been examined. It's never been studied. It's uh, it, uh, it's it's just uh, screaming for you know somebody to examine and study. And uh, so yeah, you know, um, if you're so inclined, go for it. It's all. It's all there. It's a learning curve, right? I mean, it's definitely a learning curve, you know, to figure out, you know, how to get the data, how to ask for it, how to process it. Um, and then, you know, you've got to think about it. It's like, okay, well, what am I going to do with all of this, right? You know, what do these magnitudes mean, right? What do the colors mean? Um, so, so, you know, and, but that's, that's, you know, the process of doing science, right? So, um, science isn't isn't just um, collecting data. Um, that's that's a a very important part, right? But it's it's not. Hello there, stealing the show. Um, it's not it's not uh, you know all to it, right? Science is a is a process, right? And um, um, collecting the data is is a great part um it's sort of a tedious part but it's a very very important part that you know the data 
be be as as good as it can possibly be. And I'm I'm pretty sure you know the Pan Stars has done a, a fantastic job. And um, if you want to find out exactly how they you know um, produced this um, data release, you can find that out too, right? You know they've written um, papers about it. Um, you know, describing exactly how, you know, the data is collected and calibrated and processed and stored um, and all of that, right? So, so you know, I mean, um, if you're so inclined, um, you know, you can find out all that stuff. And uh, it's just really, really great. And it's also great just to be able to look around, right, um, and compare, right? What we're seeing here was like the HST, right? And you know, look and see what the differences are. Um, and actually, you know, now that I know it's here, um, I definitely want to come back and you know grab grab those five color images, right? Um, which are grayscale right now, and turn you know um, turn those five into five different colors stack them up um, and see what they look like, right? Very, very cool. Very awesome. All right, well, I'm noticing what time it is, so I always try to get get out of here in, in a little over an hour. Um, it's always um, way too much fun, you know, to have to stop. But, uh, you know, I do respect everybody's time, and, and uh, you know, since I'm doing this every single day, uh, I don't really feel obligated um, or, you know, that kind of need to, you know, go on and on, you know, for hours and hours and hours because I'm going to be back here tomorrow, right? And um, we can either pick up right, right where, you know, we've left off now or, you know, um, we can go on to something else. So uh, yeah, that that is the nice thing about having a daily thing is that is that there's no rush, you know, there's no fuss, there's no muss, and you know we all can just sort of follow our noses, follow curiosity, which which is you know a very very important aspect of of science that that um, is oftentimes you know not really looked at a lot, right? Is is this um, curiosity aspect? It's it's you know putting yourself back when you're you know four or five or six years old, right? And you know the entire world is just full of absolute wonder, right? It's like wow, what what is all of this, right? Um, and that's a really really important um, part of science. That, like I said, you know, is oftentimes um, either not paid attention to, or, or um, you know, um, not really highlighted a lot. And I think it's very, very important, very, very important to keep the curiosity really, really, really high. Don't, don't think that you know stuff. You know, don't think you know that you're so sure about things. Right, because uh, you know maybe you have a lot of confidence in a few things, but um, um, most things are are honestly um, very much a mystery still, and that's just how I like it. All right, well with that I'm going to take one more of these. So cheers. Mm. Excellent, excellent. Well, is it time to go? All right, I think we have to give ourselves a bath, so I think we're going to go for now. All righty? Okay, but I will definitely be back tomorrow, two hours UTC, so if you haven't yet, um, make sure to subscribe and, and um, you know, hit, hit that notification bell. You can hit the thumbs up if you wish, make some comments. Um, 
spread the word spread the word that i think is the most important thing um and I've you the know, as always said even at 80 the world's still full of wonder and surprises absolutely absolutely i i feel exactly the same exactly the same way and i'm not even close to 80 at all um and this universe just just blows me away it, you know every single day i'm like wow what what an amazing what an amazing place I have found myself in, right? Incredible. All right, everybody. I'm going to get out of here. So take care, everybody. And I will see you in a little less than one of these little earth spins. Don't get dizzy, right? You're not going to fly off or anything. I don't think. I hope not. Um, and even if you do, you know, you'll probably come back. So uh, I will definitely be back. Uh, tomorrow here at two hours UTC. All right. Take care, everybody. I will see you later. Have a great one. Bye.